as the premier motorsports in the world, makes a highly anticipated return to the self-acclaimed entertainment capital of the world. After some 40-something years, one would expect Formula One to put on a show worthy of its status. It is therefore rather fitting that F1 is doomed to put on a shit show in Las Vegas. Yes, the writing is on the wall. The evidence has been piling up from about two years ago, when Liberty Media turned the greatest contest in the history of F1 into a WWE show in Abu Dhabi. Since that inglorious moment, Formula One transformed into a shit show. Despite the proliferation of overwhelming evidence, Liberty Media has continued its doomed effort to gaslight the general public into believing that the sport has not been gravely damaged by the manipulation of races that has sadly become John Malone's trademark. But, it looks like reality is finally breaching Liberty Media's defenses to wash out the Vegas weekend. As a spluttering Formula One limps into Vegas with a sick engine, a battered chassis and deflated tires, John Malone's much-vaunted media manipulation and control seem unable to hold back the overwhelming tide of facts and figures threatening to wash out the event. When BuzzRadar published its report that F1's much-prized social media engagement was declining, Malone put out a fake report in denial. However, we were able to confirm the crash in social media engagement in our previous video on the Sao Paulo Grand Prix, which is available in our Fraud Mueller 1 playlist. We would like to take this opportunity to invite those of you who haven't already done so to like, subscribe and click the notification icon to be notified when the next video is uploaded. In our Sao Paulo GP video, we were able to show that during the race weekend, Formula One, unsurprisingly, failed to trend amongst the top 50 hashtags in the US. This was in stark contrast to the heady heights of the weekend of Abu Dhabi, 2021, before Malone snatched defeat from the jaws of victory, in the last lap, of the last race, of the most exciting finish, to a Grand Prix season ever. During this period, multiple Formula One hashtags were trending in the top 10, and at one stage not only were 7 out of 10 of the top trends, Formula 1, but, the first 4 hashtags were also Formula 1. Of course, the leading driver was the one and only, Sir Lewis Hamilton, the greatest of all time. To put the decline into further context, on the weekend of the Miami Grand Prix, the first of this year's three US Grand Prix, hashtag Miami Grand Prix, made a fleeting appearance and peaked at number 2. It was beaten to the top spot by the Manchester United goalkeeper, and, dropped out very quickly afterwards. The Buzz Radar report, makes it clear that the downward spiral of F1 social media engagement, will continue into the future, and this is very much backed up by what is happening, in the run-up to the third and final, US Grand Prix, in Las Vegas. Similarly, when reports started emerging of declining viewers, Liberty Media again put out fake statistics in denial. So much so, that, one is starting to think that the Nile is a river in Malone's sprawling Colorado estate. Nevertheless, the Nile in Colorado, is about to burst its banks and wash out the Las Vegas F1 weekend. Reports have emerged that the Las Vegas event is a washout, with vast number of tickets unsold, causing hotels to slash prices, because of huge vacancies. In addition, fans who had been spurred on by 2021 are cancelling bookings that they had made in advance because of the dramatic reduction in current prices, etc., etc. How will John Malone and his motley crew of gaslighters spin this impending disaster? How will the television cameras cover the empty stands? Perhaps, in good old Hollywood fashion, they will employ seaters to race around the track, filling up the empty seats before the camera pans that way. Whatever the case is, it is going to be an interesting weekend. The build-up to the Vegas weekend is definitely interesting. It is interesting to see Formula One promos for Las Vegas, barely featuring its puppet. His team is very prominent in the promos, 
but for the split second that the puppet is featured, you don't see his full face. You'll have to have some background knowledge of Formula One, to guess that it's him, because he's the only one that wins. Sir Lewis on the other hand is very prominent in the promos. So, why is that? Consciousness of guilt. Why is Formula One not proclaiming its puppet and celebrating his record-breaking achievements to sell Las Vegas? Everybody knows America loves a champion. Please share your answers with us in the comments section.